If you are wondering whether you are having a boy or a girl, you have come to the right place. Hi mom-to-be and welcome back to Mother of Moms, your go-to channel for all things related to fertility, pregnancy, and motherhood. For many expecting parents, the gender of their baby is one of the most exciting and eagerly awaited pieces of information. In this video, we will explore 15 most common signs that can indicate whether you are expecting a boy or a girl. Before we dive into the signs, it's important to understand the biology of gender determination. The sex of a baby is determined by the chromosomes contributed by the parents. The mother always contributes an X chromosome, while the father can contribute either an X or a Y chromosome. If the father contributes an X chromosome, the baby will be a girl, XS, and if he contributes a Y chromosome, the baby will be a boy, XY. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell, and don't forget to show some love by smashing that like button. Now that we have the basics out of the way, let's get to the 15 signs. Number 1. Carrying high or low. The belief that the position of the baby in the womb, whether high or low, can indicate its gender is a popular old wives' tale. According to this theory, if a pregnant woman is carrying the baby high, meaning the baby bump is positioned more towards the chest and above the belly button, it is often believed to be a girl. On the other hand, if the baby bump is low, closer to the pelvis, it is often associated with carrying a boy. Number 2. Morning Sickness Morning sickness refers to the nausea and vomiting that many pregnant women experience, particularly during the early stages of pregnancy. The association between morning sickness and the baby's gender is another common old wives' tale. According to the belief, severe morning sickness, characterized by persistent and intense nausea and vomiting, is often associated with carrying a girl. On the other hand, less intense or no morning sickness is said to indicate a boy. Number 3. Cravings The belief that a pregnant woman's food cravings can reveal the gender of the baby is yet another popular old wives' tale. According to this theory, craving sweet or citrusy foods is often associated with carrying a girl, while a preference for salty or protein-rich foods might indicate a boy. Number 4. Heart Rate The notion that the fetal heart rate can predict the gender of a baby is a popular old wives' tale. According to this belief, a higher fetal heart rate, typically above 140 beats per minute in BPM, is often associated with carrying a girl, while a lower heart rate is said to indicate a boy. Number 5. Skin Condition The belief that skin condition during pregnancy can indicate the gender of the baby is another old wives' tale. According to this theory, experiencing pregnancy acne or having dull skin is often associated with carrying a girl, while clear skin is said to suggest a boy. Number 6. Mood Swings The belief that extreme mood swings or emotional changes during pregnancy can indicate the gender of the baby is another old wives' tale. According to this folklore, experiencing intense mood swings is often associated with carrying a girl. Number 7. Pregnancy Glow The notion of the pregnancy glow suggests that women carrying boys experience a radiant and healthy appearance during pregnancy. This belief stems from the idea that higher levels of testosterone, which are typically associated with male fetuses, can have certain effects on the mother's body. Testosterone is a hormone present in both males and females but it is usually more abundant in males. It plays a role in various physiological processes, including the development of male characteristics and skin health. According to the belief, the increased testosterone associated with carrying a boy may contribute to a healthier complexion and a radiant glow in the expected mother. Number 8. Shape of the Belly The belief that the shape of a pregnant woman's belly can indicate the gender of the baby is a popular old wives' tale. According to this theory, a round and wide belly is often associated with carrying a girl, while a more pointy and narrow belly shape is said to suggest a boy. Number 9. Hair and Nail Growth The belief that changes in hair and nail growth during pregnancy can provide clues about the gender of the baby is yet another old wives' tale. According to this theory, if a pregnant woman's hair appears dull and lifeless, it is often associated with carrying a boy. On the other hand, lustrous hair and faster nail growth are believed to suggest a girl. Number 10. Intuition and Dreams The belief that a pregnant woman's intuition and dreams can provide insight into the gender of the baby is a common aspect of folklore. According to this belief, some women have strong feelings or a sense of intuition about the gender of their baby. Additionally, vivid dreams related to the baby's gender are thought to provide further insight. Number 11. Carrying Weight 
The belief that the distribution of weight gain during pregnancy can provide clues about the gender of the baby is another common old wives' tale. According to this theory, if a pregnant woman carries extra weight around the hips and rear, it is often associated with carrying a girl. Conversely, weight gain primarily in the belly area is said to indicate a boy. Number 12. Linea Negra The linea negra is a vertical, dark line that can appear on the abdomen of some pregnant women. It typically extends from the pubic area to the belly button or even higher. The linea negra is caused by an increase in pigmentation due to hormonal changes during pregnancy. According to the beliefs surrounding the linea negra, if the line extends above the navel, it is said to indicate a boy, while if it stops below the navel, it suggests a girl. Number 13. Breast Size The belief that changes in breast size during pregnancy can provide clues about the gender of the baby is another popular but unfounded old wives' tale. According to this theory, if a woman's breasts become larger and fuller during pregnancy, it is often associated with carrying a girl. Conversely, the absence of significant changes in breast size is thought to suggest a boy. Number 14. Sleep Position The belief that a pregnant woman's sleep position can provide insights into the gender of the baby is another example of an old wives' tale. According to this theory, if a pregnant woman prefers to sleep on her left side, it is said to indicate a boy, while a preference for the right side is suggested to indicate a girl. Number 15. Balance and Coordination The belief that changes in balance and coordination during pregnancy can provide clues about the gender of the baby is yet another old wives' tale. According to this theory, if a pregnant woman feels clumsier than usual, it is often associated with carrying a girl while maintaining balance and coordination is said to indicate a boy. So there you have it, 15 signs you're having a baby boy or baby girl. Of course, these are all just old wives' tales, and the only way to know for sure is through an ultrasound or genetic testing. But it's always fun to speculate and have some excitement during pregnancy. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell, so you never miss any of the upcoming videos on fertility, pregnancy tips, parenting advice, and much more. By subscribing, you become a part of a growing family of moms, moms-to-be, and pregnancy enthusiasts, where you can share your experiences, seek advice, and connect with like-minded individuals who are on this incredible journey with you. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you the next video. With love, mom.